Hey, what's up, everybody? So I know, like everybody else, that you face in these Twilio issues, right? The 30,007 codes are driving people crazy. Well, are you fed up with the regulations and limitations of texting yet? Right? So I might have an alternative for you. And this is going to blow your mind. I don't know if you knew REI Reply offers this. But on top of texting, they also offer RVMs, right? So, what is a RVM, right? That's what. So, a RVM is just a ringless voicemail. So, the voicemail is an alternative to texting because what you can do is drop straight into the customer's voice message without them receiving uh, any notification that it came over. So, for example, have you ever gotten a voice message on your phone, right? And it never rang? There you go. That's a ringless voice message, right? So what, also what you might have noticed is that when was the last time you had a, a call from someone offering you a car warranty? Oh, wait. It's been, it's been at least a couple of months. Right. The reason why is because it's not a Twilio issue. It's not a REI reply issue. Right. It's a texting issue. Right. People are getting slammed with text messages, voicemails, everything else. And so they're really cracking down. So there's no alternative than to play by the rules. Right. But here's what you can do. If you stick around, I'm going to show you why you might want to be a little careful with these in the future, but this is an awesome alternative, right? It's going to reduce the number of errors that you have and also the number of opt-outs, right? So let's jump into the system, take a look, and let's go from there, right? So now that we're into the system, right, let me show you how to create an RVM and how to put it into a workflow so that you can start using this thing immediately, okay? So, let's go over to create a workflow and we're gonna create one from scratch, okay? Most of the time when I'm creating workflows, it's gonna be from scratch. I like a clean, you know, a clean palette to start with. I don't want anything getting in my way, right? So, I'm gonna create this workflow and every workflow needs a trigger, okay? So think of a trigger like a bear trap. When the bear steps into the trap, it engages, right? So whenever this first thing happens, that's gonna make the trap start, right? So what's the first thing we want to happen for this RVM? Let's go, let's add a contact tag, okay? So we have contact tag and then we have some alternatives that we can choose from here on the tags so tag added or tag removed and then you have all your custom fields everything below so we want to do this action only when a tag is added okay so let me move this over and we have a tag that's already in the system of RVM01. So, save this trigger. Whenever something is tagged with RVM01, the rest of these things are going to happen. Okay? So, first thing we want to do is leave a voice message. So once we choose voicemail, you can see we have the opportunity to upload a file here. And what we do is we just grab this file here. Hey, this is Tony. Just All right. So boom, this is a generic. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but this is the generic voice message that just says, hey, right. I'm calling about a property that you own. In order to hit as many people as possible without them going like why is he leaving me this voice message right so right here you have the very general 
voice message and we're going to save that action so now we have the voicemail so follow me when the tag of rvm01 is added first thing is going to happen is we're going to leave them a voice message okay now what's the next thing you want to happen it's totally up to you and your business right and a lot of times these um these kind of boilerplate things won't work for what your business does right don't be one of those guys who just get a system and then you don't know how to use it okay so what we want to do next after the voice message is i would say wait right and what we want to do is wait for something to happen okay so we could even do a time delay that would allow you to put how many minutes hours or days to wait here right if you wanted to right or if you wanted to get real slick with it right you could do a reply on certain steps now you'll notice here right that there's nothing here right so let's say this was a text message actually let me show you right now so let me go here i'm going to send the sms and i'm just going to say hi there right and let's save that action and then when i put the weight here what's going to happen is now i can choose the contact reply and there it is right so now I'm waiting for this person to respond back to this text message, right? It's awesome, right? And I could even put a time out there. So after a few minutes or hours or days or whatever, right? We can have something else happen. So boom, now we're getting into the niche sequential right now we're getting down into the weeds with it because whenever we go and tag somebody with the rvm01 the next thing that's going to happen is they're going to get an awesome ringless voice message the call back on the ringless voice message is crazy because people only see that their phone has a voice message they they're wondering how they missed this call cool right but then we could also send them a text message right after that, right? Saying, hey, I was just trying to reach out to you. I just left you a voice message. Just wanted you to know. And then we could do a wait feature after that for two hours. And if they don't respond after two hours or whatever the time delay is there, then it's on automatically going to go to the next step. So now every step of the way you can have different actions and different things going on let's let's take it as an example of a campaign a campaign you're going to send out one message and then you have the time delay and they're going to send out another message and there's a time delay and then send out another but none of this other stuff is happening right i mean these things are happening here but you can't you can't get down into the stripe charge you can't set you know all of these things here and if you do it's hard to look at use the workflows get everything lined up there and then that way your rvms are coming through boom and hitting them and then you have some other things happening at the same time now I told you if you stuck around to the end, I will give you the sauce, right? So here it is. As of December 2nd, they treat ringless voice messages the same way they treat text messages, right? Which means all the same rules apply. I know, I know what you're saying, but hold on. Because here is where I am with it if the text messages are treated the same way that rvms are treated not a problem it's not just you it's not just twilio it's not aria reply right it's everybody okay when was the last time you got a message 
asking about your car warranty. It had to be a couple of months. Had to be. Because these new regulations are out now that is significantly reducing the amount of text messages that even these big companies can send. So it's not a REI reply issue. It's not a Twilio issue. It's a texting and communication issue. So what do we have to do? We have to play by the rules. There's just no way around it. Okay. So let's get back into it. Boom. All right. So now you have all of these things going on. So I told you if you stuck around to the end, I would give you the sauce, right? So here, here it is. As of December 2nd, RVMs, ringless voice messages, are treated in the same way as text messages. So all the same rules apply, right? They, they, they want to reduce the number of opt-outs. They don't want a lot of spam going out, all of that stuff. And you might be saying, well, wait a minute, Tony. Then what do I do? So here is my, my thoughts around that is when you send out a text message and it says reply stop to unsubscribe you're going to get more replies of stop okay but if you send out a ringless voice message people's reaction to a text message is to text people's reaction to a voice message is usually the call so what will happen is they'll get that voice message and the likelihood of them texting that message that voice message back to say cancel stop or anything else that will flag twilio is significantly reduced what's more likely to happen is they're going to give you a call and say don't call me anymore no problem right that's fine that action keeps you out of twilio's crosshairs right so what i'm thinking is if we use rvms a little more than we have in the past that will reduce the amount of opt-outs that will reduce the number of errors and you could keep on without worrying that twilio is kind of you know going to catch you right i'm not a lawyer but i think that that will be a great alternative to texting everybody because that will reduce the number of people responding back with stop okay so yo and as always while i wrap up here if you need any help with your system or anything else or if you want to sit down and understand this thing better don't be one of those guys who go out and get a system and it's just dropped into your your system and you have no idea how to work it it's just doing this thing right sit down for an hour session i'll jump you ahead of the game ahead of everybody else that got rei reply at the same time as you so reach out to me the links are below if you got any value out of this drop a like subscribe comment all of that stuff guys and look thank you so much for watching the video i appreciate it i'll see you next time